Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom. Now, in today's video, I'm going to go through the latest updates on the Ripple SEC case. It's looking likely we're going to be seeing the end of this very, very soon. So stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. I'm going to cover the fundamentals and also the technicals plus my updated price predictions. So if you like that, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. If you're new and you want to see more videos about XRP, about the crypto markets and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And so with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. So as you can see right now, XRP's price is on the day of recording at 72 cents. Now, before you come at me in the comments, the prices may be a little bit different by the time you watch this video, but the points in this video that I'm going to go through, the information that I'm going to go across with you guys as well, and also my own personal opinions still stand. They still are relevant regardless of the price, whether XRP is at 50 cents, 30 cents, $3, $30, it doesn't matter. The points in this video still stand. So now that I've got that disclaimer out of the way, and also that I'm not a financial advisor out of the way, let's get straight into it. So there's been a lot of developments here. And I think with this case, as I have been saying over a long period of time, since the beginning really, is that this case will be very slow in the beginning, sort of, you know, information every sort of you know, month or so. And then by the time you get towards the interesting stuff, that's where you're going to be seeing lots of information in a very short space of time. And that's where you're going to be seeing some interesting stuff going forward with this case and how it will affect XRP's price. Now, the information what's come out recently may affect XRP's price in a very good way. And it's also correlated with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is correlated with the S&P 500 and the stock market. So there's a lot of things at play. There's a lot of moving parts. And so a lot of things can affect XRP's price, but primarily this is the Ripple SEC case is affecting XRP's price the most. It has been priced, it, it, there's been some price suppression. XRP's price has been under a lot of suppression over the past year and has missed out on the new all-time highs compared to the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, uh, Cardano, the list goes on. They have reached new all-time highs, XRP has not. And you've seen the effects that it has on Hinman and also Clayton before and after the SEC case. As you can see very clearly, Hinman very happy beforehand, all smiles and everything. And then recently, He's not looking too happy. Same with Clayton, very happy beforehand. And then he dropped the case. He didn't realize the effect it would have. He didn't realize the strength of the XRP army. And you can look at them both now. They're not happy at the moment. And so I think this feeling of unhappiness will continue as we see this saga ending fairly soon in some form of settlement. And I think what has happened recently is because of these emails and the amount of potential corruption that's happened behind the scenes. There's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes that is coming to surface, that is coming to light, which is now in public domain, in public knowledge, which is massive. So this is set not only for a win, but a big win. Now, you know, people are saying a settlement is not a win. It's just a settlement. It is a win in a way because they are settled. And in terms of a settlement, what will come out of that is that XRP will be called not a security. It will be deemed as a non-security by the Securities Exchange Commission within the United States. And if you look at the G20, the G7, however you want to you know, analyze it or weigh it up, the US is the only country in the world that sees XRP as a security. Every other country, the UK, Japan, EU, uh, Brazil, Singapore, the list goes on, they see XRP as a non-security and so therefore tradable and so therefore accessed to uh, the general public of those constituencies, of those jurisdictions, which is massive for trading volume for XRP and then also for uh, the company Ripple Labs. Now, uh, you know, Ripple are seeking to commence a preliminary ruling in May, which is coming up very soon, sooner than we all expect. And I think it will force the hand on the SEC to then settle. So you've seen a lot of news out there. You've seen a lot of other crypto YouTubers talking about the settlements and how also it is pretty much the end of this case now. Where could we see things going in terms of a timeline? Well, again, as I mentioned, you know, a lot of, uh, you, know, you know, corruption as well behind this. And then also on top of that, in terms of the watchdog that's going behind us as well, a lot of things happening behind the scenes here. But uh, in terms of a timeline, in terms of a timescale, I don't want to put a prediction, you know, to the date, to the hour of when a, an assessment could happen for this. But I think by the end of May, 
certainly getting into June, July time, going from Q2 into Q3, we could be seeing some forms of a settlement. If we don't see that, if we don't see the discussions of a settlement, if we don't see Brad Garlinghouse, Chris Larson, you know, Judge Netburn, and the list goes on with that as well. If we don't see discussion about a settlement, then we could be seeing discussions of a trial. And this would be, you know, completely different. There'll be more money needed for lawyers on both sides. And I don't think there is the appetite for the SEC and also for Ripple Labs to continue where it is right now and going into a trial. A trial would mean there'll be a jury and that would not be fun at all because again, you have to get the public in. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming out of the, the, the woodworks, I'm sure, on both sides as well. So I don't think there's appetites on either side to go for a settlement. So I do think we could be seeing, I don't think in terms of going through a trial, shall I say, so I think there's appetite for a settlement. And with that, there'll be a fine that Ripple Labs will have to pay, whether it is a million dollars or a billion dollars, I'm sure they're happy to pay that so long as they can continue trading within the United States. Now, what could happen after a settlement? What could happen after a win? Well, right now, again, XRP's price is below a dollar. Again, it could be very, it could change very, very quickly. Um, you know, with that being the case, we could be seeing relistings of XRP across uh, different exchanges within the US because currently Coinbase do not list XRP in the US, same with Binance and many other uh, exchanges within the US. And so it is hard for US citizens without a VPN to go in uh, and, and buy some XRP. So that is also super important. And I think the majority that it would open up the floodgates in my opinion. And I think once we do see that, then we could be seeing XRP go to new one-time highs in my opinion, because again, it's had that price suppression as I talked about in the beginning part of this video. And then going forwards from that, um, I think retail testing a new all-time high. So anywhere between $3.50 to $3.80, I would say within uh, two to three months of a settlement or a ruling. This is also dependent on the market conditions. If we see uh, Bitcoin have a, a crazy, crazy event and we see you know it tumble back down to let's say $17,000 or $20,000, I'm saying that's sort of an unlikely scenario, but again, very uncertain times at the moment, guys. If we see that sort of scenario, then that could also hinder XRP's potential there. But uh, if we take the current market conditions that are right now, then things could be looking good for that in the future. But do comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Where do you see things going? If we look at also the technicals for XRP, as you can see right now, we have some uh, longs open over on Bybit, um, on XRP, Bitcoin, and also Ethereum. So we're currently in profit on our XRP trade and also the same with our Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum trade that you can see right now. Uh, hang on a second. There you go. As you can see right now, in terms of the technicals, these are the, um, the trades that I have open. Again, with the technicals right now, this is currently the one minute chart, so I'd stay away from that. But if you look at the monthly, first of all, that's not really a good chart to look at, guys. Come on now. A weekly chart, again, still that major price suppression in a very short space of time. And then also on the daily, this is where things get very, very interesting. I think uh, if we did see things retest, I think another retest of 70 cent in the immediate short term would be necessary. Find that support again, but then also another area around sort of the 60 cent if we did see things go down south. But then from that, on the flip side, um, if things go really well, then 80 cent and the 90 cent within the immediate short term could be in play but we need to see those levels supported and then also potentially rejected at the same time as well but again do comment down below your thoughts and opinions on where you see things going do you see xrp going to new all-time highs do you see it retesting those levels that i've talked about previously and also with the case as well your know, predictions for the case do you think we could be seeing a settlement by the end of this month may time and maybe even sort of uh, june time Again, all comments are very much welcome. Potentially, by the time this video comes out, we could be seeing assessment already. But again, you know, things are either <laughs> they move very, very quickly or they've been very, very slowly. And so for the past year, they have moved very slowly. We're now getting into the very quick section and part of this Ripple SEC case. So interesting stuff. Again, do comment down below your thoughts and opinions. If you like XRP, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. Comment your suggestions and your feedback, all very much welcome. And if you're new and you want to see more videos about XRP, about the crypto markets and everything else in between, be sure to join the CryptoBizzy family today and subscribe. And so that's it for me in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.